All right, y'all, let's talk about it. March 14th, 2006, Drew Brees signed with the New Orleans Saints. From that point on, he became not only a Super Bowl champion, but a legend. Not only in New Orleans, but for the whole entire NFL. March 14th, 2021, Drew Brees finally announces his official retirement from the NFL. Congrats to Drew Brees. I'm very happy for you that you finally decided to retire. It, it was about time. I mean, honestly, I think you should retire like, like a year ago. <laughs> but whatever. That's not, you know, the main point of this video. I'm so glad that you got to have the career that you did. Starting out with the San Diego Chargers, where you was a good quarterback. But, you know, things turned out how it turned out. And, you know... Phil Rivers, he's gonna end up in the in the uh, in the Hall of Fame, so it's cool. Both you and Phil Rivers, uh, former Chargers, both retired within the same off season. Obviously, you retired later, and the way you did it, I think it's really dope. Having your children in the Instagram video, uh, man, wow, so amazing! You've been amazing for so many years. You've held down the community. Oh, not held down. I'm not going to use that word. You've uplifted the community of New Orleans for so many years. And you brought, you actually made the, the franchise known as <laughs> the New Orleans Saints actually valuable. You know, there was a point where people were wearing bags over their faces because of how bad the Saints were, even when Archie Manning was there. So for you to turn things out turn uh you know turn over a new leaf so to speak with the New Orleans Saints and Coach Payton. Congrats to you. I mean over the years you had Drew Brees. I mean uh, sorry, I already mentioned your name. You had uh over the years you had Reggie Bush fight on. Uh you had uh Mark Mark Marcus Colston. I think that's how you say his name. If I'm messing up your name, I'm sorry. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, you had Robert Meacham. You had... Oh, why can't I remember his name? Besides Mark Ingram. You had Mark Ingram. Obviously, you got Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas now. Oh, Y'all know who I'm talking about. He was, he was the other running back with Reggie Bush. I don't know why I can't remember this dude's name. And I apologize. But this is when they won the Super Bowl. They had that running back duo and uh they were super dope super dope but i think my favorite moment of drew Brees, to be honest was the super bowl because they were down 10 to 0 by the colts everybody thought that the colts were going to win and you know the media was already on the painting manning bandwagon and for you to overcome that lead and that i mean not lead, yeah the deficit i should say and, you know, win the game, you outplayed Peyton Manning. I mean, pretty much you got all the, the, the records for the yards, touchdowns for the most part. I mean, Tom Brady, you know, he's going to eclipse him because he just, he's a, he, he won't stop playing. He's like damn immortal, <laughs> but <laughs> damn near immortal. But yeah, no, I, just, just an amazing career. You're a first battle Hall of Famer. If it was up to me, you would be in the upcoming uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, personally, that's how much you mean to the NFL and, and all the contributions that you've made, you know, on the field and outside of the field. So, wow. Yeah. But my favorite moment is him winning the Super Bowl. I do think he should have won at least one MVP. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the only quote unquote down, down years he really had was when the Saints had no defense and he was going back to back throwing 5,000 yards. But they would end up being either seven and nine or eight and eight because they had no defense. And then Sean Payton finally got them a defense much later on towards the end of Drew Brees' career. But yeah, there's no shame. You know, things happen. Father time comes. Look, majority of quarterbacks, they turn to old farts at the end of their careers, no matter how great they are. So there's no shame in the way that you went out. Things happen. You had a great arm for a bunch of years. 
you know, a long time. So, yeah, just coming where you came from. And you came from the Big Ten. You didn't even play for a, a big time, you know, a big time uh, program. Uh, I believe you played for Purdue. So, yeah, in, in itself, that's a win. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, man, shout out to you. Shout out to your family. Enjoy retirement. I hope to see you broadcasting. I think you will be broadcasting, so that'll be dope. And I will do another video on the Saints quarterback situation because some more news popped up today from Adam Schefter. But yeah, man, once again, congrats to Drew Brees, all-time great. You're in my top 10 all-time quarterbacks. I don't care what nobody says. He's a top 10 all-time quarterback and first ballot Hall of Famer. Give me your comments and thoughts about what I just said about Drew Brees. What's your uh, favorite Drew Brees moment? Is there anything you wish you saw happen in his career? Like another Super Bowl, obviously, or him winning MVP. But other than that, yeah, let me know what your favorite mo moment of his career was. Salute, man. Salute.